Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another reading and this reading is going to be on Cardi B and Kylie Jenner. Someone asked me to do a reading on that and then someone else wanted me to do Meek and Milano. Okay, an update reading on them because Meek was, I guess, bragging that Milano bought him a car. Um, probably for Christmas because when you think about it, Christmas was only like two months ago and his birthday is not until I believe like May or June. I think he's a Taurus, so he's around there. So it probably was for Christmas, but we're going to see what's going on between them. And then we're also going to see how Nicki Minaj's relationship is with Little Uzi and YG. Okay, so like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I know you guys love the videos. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. And we about to get into it. So we're going to start off with Cardi B and Kylie Jenner. How their relationship is like. Okay, Cardi B and Kylie Jenner. Cardi B and Kylie Jenner. Okay, so we got the King of Pentacles, which talks about um, if they do collaborate on other projects together, it would be very successful. Okay, the King of Pentacles talks about wealth, business ideas. So it will be very, very successful if they ever collaborated on a makeup line together, um, a clothing line together, it probably would break the internet because Cardi B already already can sell something. And then if you ask Kylie, if you put that on there, it's just going to go crazy. So out the gate, um, they have a good working relationship. And if they ever did any other projects together, it would be successful. Then we have the Ace of Swords, which talks about, you know, olive branches being extended, um, kind of mending relationships, um, a transitioning period. So it looks as though um, Cardi B really wants to work with the Kardashians more. For whatever reason, um, she's never done anything with the Kardashians, even though she really wants to work with them, especially Kylie. I'm getting her closest relationships with the Kardashians is definitely Kylie and Chris. Like, those are the people that she talks to the most, okay? So then we have the, the Tower card, which talks about something falling apart, which means that um, it looks like Cardi or someone else tried to mend a relationship between her and maybe another friend, and then it goes so well, okay? I don't know who that friend could be because, you know, um, Kylie has fell out with a few people, Jordan Woods. She also fell out with Justin Skye, and they are both in the uh, music business. Well, Jordan's trying to get into the music business, but she's not necessarily in it yet, but she's trying to get into the music business. I heard she has a decent voice, so it looks like um, someone... Or um, Cardi tried to mend a relationship um, with Kylie, like try to get everybody cool because they're all in the same circle and it didn't go too well. OK, and I don't think Kylie really liked that because Kylie likes to do things on her own time. OK, then we got the six of pentacles, which talks about gossip, um, you know, a lot of people in the circle. So there has been a lot of chitter chatter when it comes to Kylie and Cardi um, because of the WAP video. And a lot of people believe behind the scenes that eventually they will do more projects together. OK. OK, so a lot of people see them as very lucrative individually and together. So right out the gate, this talks about business. So don't be shocked if Cardi B and Kylie work together more in the future. OK, let's see. How is Cardi's relationship with Travis? And then we're going to go on to the next thing. How is Cardi's relationship with Travis? Okay, because I don't think she's ever collaborated with Travis. I could be wrong, though. Let's see. Mm. 
Mm. Interesting. Two of Swords, which talks about trust, not trusting someone. Okay, the Queen of Wands in reverse talks about being selfish, focusing on oneself. And then the Chariot card is when somebody kind of like turns their nose up at you. So I feel like Cardi, for whatever reason, she's not too fond of Travis. Like, of course, she would work with him um, because we all know Travis is a successful rapper and he usually always goes number one but i think she feels some type of way about him for whatever reason um now i don't know if you guys remember the netflix special he had where um cardi won for uh, a grammy and he was up for the same grammy and he kind of rushed to the back and he was upset um so i don't know if she's upset about that but it looks like she kind of like she would work with him, obviously, but it looks as though she don't really trust him. Um, and she feels like he kind of turned his nose up at her. Like, oh, he feels like he's better than her. That's just what I'm getting from the cards, okay? But she would work with him. She would work with Kylie because she knows it's going to be successful. And it's all about the money at the end of the day, okay? That's what these labels care about. That's what these celebrities care about, okay? Let's go on to Meek and Milano. What is going on with Meek Mill and Milano? Milano is Meek Mill's second baby mother, okay? She's the one that has the clothing line. I forgot what the clothing line is called, but it's like men, men's wear, women's wear. Um, anybody could really wear it. So let's see what's going on between them. Okay. Four of Pentacles talks about working relationships. So it looks like he is invested um, in her businesses, okay? He's invested in her businesses or he gives her money to fund her um, clothing brand. Like they, they work together. So it looks like instead of giving him cash, she might have bought him a car. Um, they do. It looks like their relationship is kind of up and down. Um, the nine of wands in reverse talks about stagnation, which talks about kind of waiting for an opportunity, but not being able to get there. And it looks like he kind of wants Milano back. He realizes that, you know, she wasn't really the issue and that maybe he just wasn't ready to have a baby with her so soon, but it looks like he wants her back. But right now they have a more of a business relationship. The three of swords in reverse talks about third party energy. So it looks like they're both seeing other people. Okay. And I'm not saying that they're not messing around. I can see them kind of messing around, um, because of their up and down relationship, but it looks like it's more business than personal. Um, and he's like, um, an investor in her company. Um, he gives her money. Um, and, and that makes sense because, you know, he does have a lot of money. Not He's not super, super rich, but he does at least have a million dollars in a bank where he can invest in her um, clothing brand. The Nine of Swords in Reverse. Okay, so this talks about if they did get back together, it would be unsuccessful. She's going to um, end up kind of um, being sad or depressed in the relationship. When Meek gets in a relationship, he tends to belittle the other person. And I don't have nothing against Meek, so nobody come for me, but he tends to belittle the person that he's in a relationship, which could cause that person to get into a depression or to um, be sad. So um, it looks as though if they do get back together, it would be very unsuccessful. They would break up again. He wants to get back with her. And I think that's why he's investing in her company, trying to like keep tabs on her because they're not married. So um, the only way he would really be able to talk to her if they were working together or when it comes to the child. So he's trying to um, mend fences. But they're both kind of seeing people. He's seeing someone and she's seeing someone. So it looks like there's a lot of gray areas between them. So it looks like they are working together. He does give her money and she probably wanted to repay him by getting him the car because, you know, he didn't have to become an investor. So now we're on to Nicki Minaj and Little Uzi. Nicki Minaj, ooh, 
the Nine of Wands popped out again. Okay, so then we got Nicki Minaj and Little Uzi. What's going on between them? And then we're going to do YG. Nicki Minaj and Little Uzi. Mm. So we got the King of Swords, which talks about um, if they did collaborate again, it would be successful. King of Swords talks about success, talks about business. Um, there is stagnation when it comes to the relationship, though. Um, he's kind of patiently waiting for her to extend an olive branch. OK, the page of launch talks about being patient also. And then we have the judgment card. And this kind of talks about him falling back um, because of her um, relationship with Kenneth Petty. Um, it seems as though he feels like he can't really um, contact Nikki like he used to be able to because of Kenneth. So I don't know if Kenneth is telling Nikki that she can't talk to other men behind the scenes because I've always heard that Kenneth is a little bit possessive when it comes to Nikki, okay? Just a little bit possessive. Um, and so um, he doesn't feel comfortable um, contacting her because of Kenneth Petty. So he kind of like, he's falling back. He kind of feels rejected a little bit and he's just patiently waiting for her to extend the olive branch, okay? But it looks like there's no issue between them. It's just that they're a little distant because she's married now. Okay. And before he felt like he can he can contact her at all the hour any hour of the day um and talk to her. But now because she's a mother and she's a wife, he feels as though he can't do that. So let's go on to YG, Nicki Minaj's relationship with YG. But it does look like if they did music together, it would be successful, okay? Um, but I don't see any pending collaborations at, as of right now. So let's go on to Nicki and YG. Nicki Minaj and YG. Let's see what's going on there. Hmm. The Empress card in reverse. She don't really want to have anything to do with him. Okay. Eight of Pentacles talks about them having a business relationship and it kind of going sour um, due to him talking negatively about her. Okay. The, the Eight of Pentacles talks about working and then something going negative or um, somebody talking negative about you. So it looks like he was talking about her behind the scenes. Okay. The Queen of Swords talks about... Um, you know, feeling independent, focusing on oneself. And it looks like Nikki's not too worried that YG doesn't really want to work with her anymore because of her doing the song with 6 9 She's going to continue to do what she does. She's not really worried about it. And it and the energy I'm getting is she didn't really benefit off of really doing any songs with YG because um, she did them for free, okay? And you know Nikki loves giving out free verses, I don't know what it is about the queen giving out free verses, but she give out a lot of them, okay? And then the three of pentacles in reverse talks about third party energy. Yeah, so he's definitely talked bad about her behind the scenes, probably to his friends or other artists. And um, I think when he did that interview, basically saying that um, he doesn't want to work with her, which the Eight of Pentacles symbolizes, it kind of was like the the last straw for her. Like, okay, well, I'm not going to, I don't need to work with you. I don't need to have a conversation with you. And the Empress card in reverse talks about somebody being selfish and focusing on themselves. She's not even really worried about YG. Let's see if they will make up in the future, though. Let's see if they will make up in the future. Will YG and Nikki make up in the future? IG and Nicki Minaj. Will they make up in the future? Um, so Ace of Cups talks about if they did work together, it would be prosperous, okay? And then the Seven of Wands talks about, you know, kind of letting things die down 
and kind of just letting the air simmer down. So it's not like the door's not completely closed. It seems as though if he come back around and apologize, she would be open to hearing it. Um, but it looks like she'll never fully forgive him for it, especially publicly speaking on it, because the Two of Cups, which talks about disharmony. So it looks like she will be willing to hear what he has to say. But it looks like she's not going to fully forgive him, okay? Um, but if they did do music together, it would be successful, okay? And then they're try she's going to let the air die down. The, the door isn't completely closed. One thing about Nikki is, like, she, she will forgive you. I mean, Kenneth Petty, he used to put hands on her. She forgave him. She forgave Drake. So she will forgive somebody, okay? I think it's the sag in her, the Sagittarius, okay? But um, she'll never fully, um, she will remember this. Like, she'll never fully, fully, like, I would say, welcome him with open arms, okay? So if you guys like the reading, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to turn on post notifications. And this reading was strictly for entertainment purposes only.